Welcome everybody. Today we're going to take a look at our new WooCommerce Ship to Multiple Addresses extension. This plugin gives you the ability to let your shoppers ship the items in their order to multiple addresses. And a really cool thing about this extension is that your shoppers can manage all their addresses and shipments on the checkout page without ever having to leave the checkout page. And of course, it also works for shoppers with an existing account and for guest users too. In either case, it will save their addresses so that, that when they return to your website, they can use those addresses again. So let's take a quick look at how it works. Here on the screen, you can see I have a demo site pulled up that we have, and I have a few items in the cart. So let's go to the checkout page and see how this works. So when we get to checkout, you see here at the top, we have a message that is added by our software when it's enabled uh, where a shopper can click to manage their addresses to ship to multiple sites and everything is done on this one little screen so let me show you so when I click that I see a pop-up that appears that shows me my existing addresses and what's in the cart etc but just to show you let me close this you see we're still on the checkout page we never really left we just click this and we see a neat little pop-up and at the top of the screen you see my address is listed for this user account I've already added a couple of addresses for this user while testing so they already exist and therefore they show on the screen if there weren't any in this account yet all I would see was the add new address button but let's take a look at this so for each address that already exists there's an edit and a delete link so if I need to get rid of one I can or if I want to edit one I can let's see Joe John Doe at in Dallas zip code 75202 I want to edit that let's just say for example I made a mistake in the zip code I need to change it so I'll change it to 201 save the address and we look up here the address is saved and also in these drop down boxes it is also saved saved so that's how it works if I want to add a new address I simply click the button and I see the same form except now it's pre-populated with the last used address which is kind of handy for uh, ease of use for example I myself I have a couple of different addresses I ship to they're all in the same city the only thing that changes is the street address and the zip code so it's it's helpful for situations like that or I can just write whatever I want to make a new address so let's make a a new address just as a test so I can show you and we're gonna make this Houston and still Texas 77001 I save the address and it appears in my list as expected and these boxes update to contain the new Joe Doe address I just added so I now I have three addresses now below here we have an order review that shows me what's in my order I have coffee mug Pink Floyd box set and annotated Alice book for the coffee mug I have three and this is one and one and here I can choose uh, where I want these to go to so let's say we want the coffee mug to go to John and uh, these items uh, the box set goes to Joe and the annotated Alice book goes to Susie I will save my selections and then when I scroll down in the cart to look at my order review I can see here that my order has been split into three packages because I have three different shipping destinations and for each one I see what's in the order here at the bottom of the list of shipping options and I have shipping options to choose for each item so maybe I want this one to go priority and this one just standard post and for this one and maybe I want to just pick it up so I can make individual selections and those are reflected in the cart total uh, I'll show you that real quick let's just change this from free local pickup to the uh, priority mail and you see the order total updates accordingly so everything works as expected but let's go back and take another look at this real quick um, for the coffee mug I have a quantity of three and I've specified that I want these to go to John Doe but maybe I don't want all of these to go to John maybe I want some of them to go to other people so if I just click that split quantity link like I just did um, you see now that I have instead of one line item with a quantity of three I now have three mugs with a quantity of one each and now I'm able to select a specific shipping destination for each one of those coffee mugs so let's say I want to send 
two of those to Susie and one of those to Joe. All right, let's send it to John. So now I have two going to Susie, one going to John. I have the Pink Floyd box set going to Joe. And Susie is also getting the annotated Alice book. So we have three items going to Susie, one to John, one to Joe. And I will save my selections. And then again, when I scroll down in the order of view, we see Susie getting two coffee mugs. We see Joe getting a coffee mug. And we see John getting the Pink Floyd box discovery set as expected. So also there's a link here. If I want to reset all of these, I can click this to remove my address selections entirely, at which point I can either come back up and click this again to remanage, or I can just enter regular shipping information as I always do on the shipping section. You'll notice here at the top of the billing and ship to a different address section, uh, there is a drop-down box, and this drop-down box is added by our software, and it lists all the addresses that we have in our address book. And you can see here's the one I added while we were doing the demo, and here's the two pre-existing. So I can select these, and it will pre-populate this form down here with the correct information for me very quickly and easily. And same for here. If I want to do that, I can do that. And then... When I place the order, I'm just going to leave these set as I have them. So we have two mugs going to Susie. We have a mug going to John. And we have a Pink Floyd box set going to Joe. So when I place the order, all of this information is going to be saved in the order, which I will show you in a moment. Here we go. New order, 2068. I'll go back here to the order screen and refresh that. And I will show you. We can look in here, and we see we have these items in the order. Uh, but when we scroll down below that, we see that we have three different shipping sections that show the cost for shipping of each item. It shows where they're supposed to go to and which item should be shipped. So Susie should be getting two mugs and the annotated Alice book, etc. And it's going via priority. This one's going via standard and this one's going via priority because those are what I chose on the checkout page. And so all this information makes it easy for you to look at your order and know what needs to go where. Um, you'll notice below each one of these, there is a box and a little arrow button to update it. This lets you set the shipping status for this particular package if you want to. You don't have to use this feature, but you may find that it's useful for your shopper. So what happens is um, they start in a status of processing when a new order is placed, and you can change them to any order that you have, any order status that you have in your site. Um, refunded, whatever you want to put it on. So, And what will happen is it will, if you use this feature, it will send your shopper an email. So if I send this to, uh, click this and say update it to completed, that just triggered an email to my shopper. And I'll show you a copy of that. It will look something like this. This is not the same one that just went out. This one was done a couple of days ago. But they get a message saying, hey, here's your order. The status for these items is processing, etc. So that's how that much of it works. There's also some settings in this plugin that I want to show you that lets you control some of this, um, how some of this works. So you can um, enable and disable. You can also choose um, to disable uh, the multi-shipping when all certain matching products are in the cart or entirely when matching products are in the cart. So how this works is um, if you want to disable it entirely when any match is made um, for these products or these categories, you can do that. For example, if you never want the shopper to be able to split the order, if there is anything in your books category in the order, you can do that. Um, or maybe you want to trigger it based on specific products, you could do that as well. And so, again, what happens when you use this setting is that if this mug or anything in the books category is in the cart, the shopper will not be able to ship to multiple addresses for any items in the cart. Um, there's another setting, disable only for matching products. So if I use that, 
I can um, cause these items to be removed from the multiple addresses. So what, what this means is if the coffee mug is in the cart or any items from the books categories are in the cart, then here, uh, well, I've already closed that, but uh, when you look at the uh, multiple addresses box, these items will not be listed. So they would be able to split other items in the cart and ship those to different destinations, but these would not be able to be shipped to different destinations. These would be shipped to whatever shipping address they put in the checkout page for their shipping address. So that's about it. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, you can call us at 888-434-8388 or you can reach us via the contact page on our website. Thanks for watching. Now when I go back here to the order admin area in WooCommerce, we see a list of orders. Here's order number 2068 and it has the usual information, items in the order and shipping. And you'll notice here that the shipping information is expanded by our plugin. It includes the shipping method, the address, and the items in the order. And that's for each shipment that the shopper selected for multi-ship on the checkout page. You'll also notice that there is a shipment status that's added by our software. And here you can set the status to any status you want that exists in your site. So if you're using a custom status module for WooCommerce, those will integrate okay. Um, you don't have to use this feature, but you can. It's a good way to keep your shopper informed about what's going on with the shipment of each one of their packages. If you do set the status and click update, it will send an email to your shopper. And let me show you what that looks like. This is a sample of the email that goes out. You can see it shows the order number, the order date, the new shipment status, and the shipping items, the or rather the items that will go in the shipment, and the destination for which it's going to be sent. And that holds true. Uh, every time you change the status, they'll get an email message, and it'll show them the current status right here. They can also review this information on their My Account page if they want to. When you go to My Account in WooCommerce, here, here it is, and we go to Orders, we see the list of orders as usual. And when I look at my order number 2068, I see all the information like I normally do, but there's an extra section here for your shopper, the multiple shipping destinations. This will be present for any order that has multiple shipping addresses. And you can see again, it shows the address, the items, and the current status. So this helps them keep in touch with with what's going on if they need to review that. Let's take a look at the settings of this plugin real quick. I want to show you. So here we have the settings. They're pretty basic. We have a setting to enable or disable the multi-shipping functionality entirely. If you need to turn it off real quick for some reason, you can just uncheck that box and save the settings. And then there's also a way to selectively disable multi-ship depending on what is in the shopper's cart. For example, you can disable it for only for matching products, which means if you choose any products here, for example, mug, or maybe you choose a category of books, if the shopper has a mu this mug, this exact product, or any products from the books category in the cart, then those items will not be able to be shipped to multiple addresses. They'll still be able to ship other items in their order to multiple addresses if they have other items in the cart, but not these items. And you can also disable it entirely when anything matches. In this mode, what this means is if this item, this exact product, or any products from the books category are in the cart, then nothing in the cart can be shipped to multiple addresses. So that's two different ways you can disable either part or all of the multi-ship for based on what's in the cart. So that's about it. We hope you like it. If you have any questions, you can call us at 888-434-8388 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Central Time, or you can use a contact form on our website. Enjoy! Enjoy!